And a turn to his home track of uh, Matthew Hudson-Smith, who we'll be seeing in a moment or two's time. Let's take you through the lineup. Joachim Dobber goes on the outside in lane nine from the Netherlands, the Dutch number two Olympic relay silver medalist. Kamari Montgomery from the USA, former national collegiate champion, won very impressively indoors here in Birmingham in February. Isaac McQuala, goodness me, 36 years old now, still a fierce competitor. The reigning Commonwealth Games champion will defend his title here in Birmingham in 10 weeks' time. There is Matt Hudson-Smith, so delighted to be back on home soil. European champion from Berlin in 2018. Has had a really good, positive start to the season after a dreadful 2021. He's in lane six. Vernon Norwood will push him hard. The man with the big smile in lane five. Double world and Olympic relay champion. Bryce Dedman from USA. Also an Olympic 4x400 meter relay champion. Around the third leg in Tokyo. Lee Marvin Bonavassia. 33 years old now from the Netherlands, made the Olympic final in Tokyo last year. He goes in lane three. Alex Haydock Wilson from Great Britain, Loughborough University student, multiple relay medalist at junior level in lane two. And from the USA on the inside, completing the lineup, Will London, 4x4, 100 meter relay champion from Doha back in 2019. But Matt Hudson-Smith with a real chance here to continue this excellent early season form. He ran 44.82 in Gainesville in Florida just a few weeks ago. He's had a couple of sub-45 races for the first time since 2018. He goes in six with Vernon Norwood. There he is from the USA. H30 now, Norwood, on his inside in lane five. McQuala in lane seven. So McQuala seven, Hudson Smith six, Norwood in five. Well, he loves this track, does Matthew Hudson Smith, and he's made a, a really good start in the first 100 meters, already eating up into the ground of Isaac McQuala, the great 36-year-old on his uh, right as we look. But uh, Matt Hudson-Smith, again, looking very relaxed in the hotel over the, uh, the last couple of days. Mon Montgomery as well has gone off very hard in lane eight. And as the bend unfolds, we'll see the true picture here. Also going well is Norwood coming up onto the shoulder. And Hudson-Smith will feel the presence of Norwood, the 30-year-old. The man with a big smile is stretching away. But what has Hudson-Smith got less? He's coming back at him. It's a really good response from Hudson-Smith on his home track. This will be some victory for Matt Hudson-Smith. He's got it again. Brilliant performance. What a way to return. 45-30-32. Not quite the sub-45 performance he was looking for, but the condition's not easy here. It is a little bit cool, but that will feel mighty good. Hudson Smith, goodness me, has battled with injury and illness over the last couple of years, and it is so good to see Matt Hudson Smith winning again in his own backyard. The Birchfield Harrier knows this stadium so well, although not in its current form, of course. But the man based in Florida has made a winning return to the West Midlands in the UK, 45-32. Well, you said it right, Chris. That was a really reinforcing run from Matthew Hudson Smith. He will be delighted to rewatch that because he was passed by Vern Norwood, who was coming around and was hunting him around the second bend. Norwood took the lead. Here is Norwood right in the centre there. Hudson Smith in the yellow loses the lead here, but only for about 25 metres. There's Von Nord. As soon as Von Nord got past him, he started doing tippy-tap, tiny little strides. He hit the wall. The lactic's building up. He ended up finishing in fourth place. Hudson Smith, with that uh, barrel-chested style of his, pumping away to get to the line a metre to the good. Really tight for second, third and fourth. 45-51, 45-52, 45-53. Deadman, Montgomery, Norwood. But all in the wake of Matthew Hudson Smith. And the British crowd being treated to a second home victory there. Yeah right behind uh, Dean Rasher smiths win in the 100. That is a uh, very, very encouraging for Hudson Smith, who, as you say, Chris, quite rightly, deserves a bit of luck. 
He does. He's had such a bad run of it in the last couple of years. But 